So simple, but it's so uh, elaborate. Oh, it was beautiful. A lot of fun. Well, that's it for tonight. Stay tuned for Nightline. Tonight's topic, Eugenia and Dr. Roy Hicks Jr. makes good. Good night. Who the heck is Dr. Roy Hicks Jr.? You're watching KEZI Eugene. I'm Ned Koppel, standing in for my brother Ted, who is on vacation, and this is Nightline. Dr. Roy Hicks Jr., the man, the image. This is ABC News Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppel and reporting from New York is Ned Koppel. If you've ever been to one of today's super churches, you know it's an emotionally packed experience that you will not soon forget. And central to the popularity of the super church is the image of the pastor. But behind the image is just a man. A man not unlike you or me. Or is he? Tonight we will be examining one such super pastor, the Reverend Dr. Roy Hicks Jr. We will be speaking with people who know him, the man, the image. But first, here's our Eugene Church correspondent, Og Oglesby. It all started here, Ned. There was no fanfare for the Reverend Roy Hicks Jr. when he arrived here in the late summer of 1969. In fact, for most of the 50 members of the small Eugene Foursquare Church, there were reservations. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw Roy. You see, in those days, I was a maintenance man for the church. And the first time I saw Roy, I was just a little bit taken back. You see, we just purchased this brand new black walnut podium. And the first time I saw Roy, I knew he was going to have to cut that sucker in half. <coughs> you know, uh, I, I really got to stop smoking these things. Uh, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about the neck brace. I, uh, I really only have to wear this until the lawsuit settled out of court, but... Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about Brother Roy. I love that man so much. I, uh, I haven't been able to attend the services, of course, since my surgery. You know how painful that could be. But uh, I love watching the show, uh, Koina, Koina Nitri. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, of course, wrestling's on now on Sunday mornings, and so I haven't been able to, uh, to watch that. But, uh, uh, oh, I, I really probably shouldn't be. Uh, anyway, um, a uh, previous pastor before Roy he was a very handsome man, you know, uh, 6'2", and uh, he didn't have that uh, short man's paranoia, but uh, I love Brother Roy dearly, and, uh, oh, c come here, c kitty, 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 come here, kitty, kitty. But we used to just call him Brother Roy, you know, and, and I came from the, the, the element of uh, hippiness, I guess you might say, but, but it's obvious that... Uh, that I've, I've, I've gone beyond that and, and I'm, a, I'm a whole person and, and I, I'm experiencing life and it's all because of that. I think it's because of the foundation that we experienced in the first church up on 18th Street where, uh, um, like, well, we were the chosen 100. We knew it. And, and, and when Reverend, well, when, 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 when he would walk out on the stage, like his presence was just unbelievable. I, I mean, it didn't matter about his polyester threads, you know, man. He was heavy. His aura was, was, uh, I, it, it mixed with the polyester somehow, and, and that that polyester mixed with his aura created a magnificence of mysticism that superseded, undoubtedly superseded Paramahansa Yogananda, Brother Baba Ramdas. Uh, Hare Krishna, uh, it, oh, gee, Maharishi Mahesh, all of my gurus, man, just kind of faded into the distance, you know. And, and I knew without the shadow of a doubt that when he said submit, I knew what that meant. I knew what that meant because now it is obvious to you as, as you can see, I'm a successful whole person in my total being uh, because I knew I learned to come under come under authority and to come come through my personal self as not being I, it just I can't explain it but but I want to tell you that 
that as a personal, my, my experience with the brother Roy of uh, Reverend America was that uh, he, he made me complete. He made me complete and now you can see it. I'm a successful person and I'm a whole being and it's all because I think of the foundational experiences that, that were so heavy on 18th Street, you know, and, and I don't know what else to say. But still, the diminutive pastor began to win the hearts and souls of his community. And as the word spread about the peculiar ministry, his flock grew with the strong counterculture Jesus movement. Some say strong in spirit, while others say strong on aroma. They were tumultuous times, both good and bad, those early years at Faith Center. And like the pains of childbirth, these pains birthed a new being and new assignment for the Reverend Roy Hicks, the Super Church. In Eugene, Oregon for Nightline, this is Og Oglesby. We're going to take a break, and when we return, we'll be speaking with a former employee of the Reverend Roy Hicks, Jr., someone who worked with him in his early days of his television ministry. IBM says bigger is better. Burroughs thinks bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. But at the new Faith Center, we can now unabashedly declare... IBM's right. Bigger is better. The new Faith Center, where bigger is better. Oprah doesn't just speak her mind, she opens her heart. The Oprah Winfrey Show. Weekdays at 4. You're watching KEZI Eugene. I know, honey, but there's not really anything I can do. Well, it's not really combing. It, it well, Ted, I know he has exact... I, oh, I gotta go. I'm Ned Koppel, and this is Nightline. We have with us the first woman to ever work on Reverend Hicks' staff. She was his understudy on the television show Koinonia. Church lady, what was it like to work with Reverend Hicks? Well, it was often very difficult. Those early years, especially. Then there was conflict on the set. Oh, constantly. You know, we were both 5'5", five five and I could wear heels. And so I'd be 5'7", and I think he was jealous. And then there was that coin and ear thing. You know, I couldn't say coin and ear. Is a Greek word meaning fellowship, communion, no, partnership, communion. Anyway, I couldn't get him in the right arm. No, I couldn't. And so he fired me. But really, it was because I wore three inch platform heels. Maybe 5'8. It was the last straw. So he fired me. Well, it certainly sounds like you have reason to be bitter. But hold that thought, church lady. We have to take a station break. And when we return, we'll be speaking with one of Reverend Roy Hicks's closest personal friends. Peter Jennings on politics. It pains me to see so few people participating in the democratic process. If you're not watching World News Tonight with Peter Jennings, you should be. Well, obviously, uh, being the, the best dresser in the world, the thing that I remember most about Roy uh, were his clothes. Um, he had a fetish for uh, polyester, double-knit leisure suits, uh, bowling clothes, if you will. Um, I was in high school, uh, really wasn't that interested in going to church. Uh, my mother kept telling me about Roy, um, said he was young and, and hip to kids. One night she finally talked me into going. Uh, there was a music group. And now, now this is a true story. Uh, I know Roy's going to deny it uh, now that uh, he's into natural fibers and doing lunch. Um, but when Roy came out that night, he had this double knit baby blue leisure suit. You know, the matching pants, jacket cut short, white polyester shirt with the collar pulled clear out to the shoulders. Uh, shirt was unbuttoned to just below the chest, a gold chain around his neck, um, no hair on his chest to speak of. Um, but that wasn't the funny part. Uh, when the group came out, they come running out and they all had identical to Roy baby blue matching leisure suits. I mean, it brought the house down. And Roy, since you're moving to LA, I'd like to invite you to buy my book, Showtime.
And if you show up at the forum, don't say hi. A Nightline special feature. Moments they'd rather forget. Hey, who picked this topic anyway? Look, I don't care what you have to do. Get me a new topic right now. Excuse me, I'm talking to this man over... What? Or... I'm Ned Koppel, and this is Nightline. We have with us tonight one of Reverend Roy Hicks's closest personal friends, someone we hope can shed some insight into who the man, the image, really is. First of all, why the backlighting? Wait a minute. Your, Your producers, producers guaranteed me you wouldn't ask that question. I, it's a fair question. Fairness has got nothing to do with it. We had a deal. Certainly you can answer the question, Mr. Carney. Look, I didn't want anybody to know I was his friend. Hey, hey, you said my name! No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You just said my well, name. We'll edit it out later. I, my apologies. This, this is a live show. Well, obviously we're not getting anywhere with Mr. Carney. Thank you for coming. Wait a minute, no! Uh, you must have Hold something it. to hide. But uh, we'll be right back and we'll see if we can shed some more insight into the Reverend Roy Hicks. We were Roy's leaving. You're depressed. You won't hear him again for years to come. But now, KTEL presents Dr. Junior, the one-man video. Noted historian, actor, and one-time evangelist Leonard Zellig, whose successful portrayals of demanded personalities such as Napoleon, Toulouse-Lautrec, and Mickey Rooney have brought tears to your eyes, has now assembled what may be his finest performance, Dr. Junior, the one-man video. You won't be depressed any longer because you'll die laughing with the golfing jokes. You'll cry real tears when he sings praise the name of Jesus, and you'll feel your heartstrings pulled with his rendition of Bedtime with Jeffrey. Sound great? It sure is! But wait, there's more! You'll get all the great one-liners. Now get out of here. I need your seat, Christianity, not churchianity. Let's all say that together, sozo. Mail your brain off in a baggie. Swing from the chandeliers. I'm sorry, but that's the way we do things around here. I spit when I'm anointed. Stay with me, don't lose it. The spirit is a dove, not a hawk. Holy spirit from Bado. Sloppy agape, mint-flavored sandals, and quinine is a Greek word. And many, many more! Sound too good to be true? It is, but there's still more. With every or you'll receive an auto pen print of Roy preaching from the Sanctuasium. To order, call 1 800 378 or send 1999 plus 250 explosion handling to KTEL, care of Ron and Helen Baker, Los Angeles, California 90026. Again, 1 800 378 or send 1999 plus 250 explosion handling to KTEL, care of Ron and Helen Baker, Los Angeles, California 90026. Ask for it by name, Dr. Junior, the one man video. Yeah, but Ted, but this is my first show, and, and I'd kind of like to finish it. Of course it's beating us in the ratings tonight. Uh, okay, yep. it's not a great topic. Over. Okay, the lady from the San Diego Zoo is on Carson with those cute little animals that run around and, and sit on his head, but... Well, well what about the time I learned you my skateboard? I don't care yeah, you your skateboard. Get off. It's over. It's I, I gotta subject. go. I'm Ned Koppel, and this is Nightline. I'd like to apologize to our local affiliates. Some unforeseen circumstances arose and we're going to have to go back to earlier than we had expected. So now we'll send you back to the regular scheduled programming of the local stations. For Ted Koppel, this is his brother Ned, and this was Nightline. ABC News Nightline. If you wish a printed transcript of this or any Nightline broadcast, please send $3 to Nightline Transcripts, 267 Broadway, New York, New York, 1007. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News.
most powerful name, Jesus. Presence in your presence.